Welcome to Wavy Vaporizers. I'm your boy Early. Today we're going to be doing a review of the Nokiva. The Nokiva is from Aristec. Aristec is the number one leading OEM company in China. A lot of American companies like to buy in bulk from Aristec and then have them rebranded and sell them here in America as their own vaporizers. So I'm sure you guys probably either have or have seen that vaporizer that you like, hmm, I've never seen it. But little do you know, it's straight from Aristec. It's because they rebranded here. Everybody knows that Aristec is the number one company that makes vapes for a lot of companies here in America. That being said, you already know this vaporizer is good. No Kiva. I got it in red. Sexy in red. To me, this is like the same size as a Pax, just a little bit wider. You know, you can compare it to a lighter. It's almost as big as a lighter. Basically... No, the lighter is just a little bit smaller, but it's basically almost the same size and width, just a little bit more. It's like a Zippo, more or less. You know, this is a conduction-based vaporizer. It does have a ceramic chamber, which I have filled up all for you guys, so I could just take off and go. It does have a 20-second heat up, which I love. I mean, there's not a lot of vaporizers that perform and do 20-second heat up time. I mean, the PAX is like almost $300, and that's like 30, 40-second heat up time. It does have a digital, digital, uh, has a digital screen so you can see what percentage of battery you have. It also tells you the Fahrenheit or the Celsius because this one does both. All you got to do is hold this in, hold the power button in for about three, four seconds and it'll change from Fahrenheit to Celsius. This does have a range from 300 degrees Fahrenheit to 435 degrees, which I love, you know. Especially if you're one of those people that like to vape at lower temperatures, like 300. You're not going to get that much clouds. You're probably not going to get any visible clouds. But you're going to get effects still from the plant that you're using. And also, you're going to get a very, very amazing taste. It's not going to compromise your taste at all because of the low temperature. That being said, a lot of people like to vape at low temperatures. Some people like to vape at high. Either way, you're going to get some type of feeling out of your herbs. Trust and believe me on that. All right, it comes with the regular stuff a normal vaporizer comes with, you know, booklet, has the, the cleaning, it has extra O-rings. Those O-rings go wrapped around the mouthpiece so the mouthpiece could fit snug inside of the vaporizer itself. It comes with uh, a dab tool, which the, you can't really dab with it, but if you sandwich your, your material in between your herb, your dry herb, you can more than likely dab inside of this thing. You know, the real dab, the real dabbing, not the not the stupid dance everybody's doing. Nah, none of that. <laughs> oh, and it also, this vaporizer comes with an extra mouthpiece. But see, the difference with this mouthpiece, this mouthpiece will be more like the travel mouthpiece. You know, you want to be in Walmart at a, you want to be in a restaurant hitting it, you want to hit it with this because, you know, it looks less conspicuous than the glass mouthpiece. Glass mouthpiece, if you, if you know what vaporizers are about and you know the glass pieces make the taste so much better, it's not that long of a mouthpiece, but it kind of, kind of, not all the way, but it kind of cools down the vapor, especially when you're vaping at a higher temperature, the vapor is going to come out hotter. But this thing I love, this is what I use. I use it all the time. I only use the regular mouthpiece when I'm going out and about and I don't want to be so crazy looking, you know, with a pipe in my mouth. But yeah, this thing has a 20 second heat up time. I don't know if I mentioned that, probably did. But you, already, you guys already know my videos are all whatever comes out, comes out. That's what I do. I keep it real for everybody in the world. Nothing's scripted, nothing's edited. You get what you get. Alright, so I'm going to turn this thing on for you guys. I'm going to switch the mouthpiece. I'm going to, hmm, I'll hit 390 for you guys. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it's heating up right now. The battery is a 2,200 lithium ion battery, which is good. It lasts pretty long. Charges about nah, like two and a half, three hours. That's the most that it takes to charge. But it lasts a really long time, even if you're vaping at the highest temperatures. I mean, 
I've used it for the past couple days. I can't really tell you exactly how long it lasts because I use it throughout the day and I don't really keep track of the battery or what I'm what I'm vaping at, you know, the the temperatures. Now I'm all over the place, but this thing lasts long. It definitely lasts longer than the packs, I'll tell you that. It's at 390 already. I'm ready to blow some clouds for you. Excuse me about the lighting. I'm not in my house right now. I usually make all my videos in my crib, but I'm not there. I'm at somebody else's house. So, yeah, the lighting is terrible here, but it's okay. It's better than nothing. I'm not sure you guys could see that because of the lighting, but I'm trying to get as much clouds as I can and blow it by the screen so you guys can see. Woo! <coughs> that was a crazy cloud. <coughs> Like I said, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I just blew a crazy ass cloud. And I'm already feeling the effects. I'm at 390 right now, and the taste has not been compromised yet. You know, after a while, the taste does go away. But right now, that's like my third big giant pool, and it tastes exactly like what I have inside. Ah, it's amazing. Oh, yeah, by the way, this does have a five-minute shutoff time. So that way, let's say if you forget about it, it's going to shut off either way in five minutes. Or while you're hitting it, you got five minutes to temperature surf and go wherever you want and hit as many times at any temperature you want through a matter of five minutes once it shuts off you can always turn it back on and keep vaping big clouds <coughs> damn one thing I do not like about the vape, which is not a deal breaker, it's easy to deal with. You see the bottom? The bottom is like rounded off, so you can't really stand it up. It'll fall. But you can sit it sideways, no problem. You can sit it flat on his back, no problem. And if you really wanted to, you could take off the mouthpiece and just sit it backwards and it won't fall. I mean, this is not really a deal breaker. That's just something that, let's say, if they were to make another Nokiva, I would, like, tell them to flatten this out so that way they could stand it up. Maybe somebody wants to use it with a bubbler, you know, uh, some type of attachment. They can't really stand it up. They're going to have to hold it the whole time, which, like I said, is not a deal breaker. Everything else is good about this vape. The taste, the quality of the vape, you know, this it's not, you're not going to drop this and break it. It's solid in the hand, very solid. Um... It's, if you have big ass hands, you can freaking probably just cuff the whole thing and nobody won't even know what the hell you're doing at all. You know, the body really doesn't get hot. It only gets hot like up here. And that's if you've been burning at like maybe 400 degrees higher for like 10 minutes straight, 20 minutes straight. It'll get hot up here. But as long as you're holding the bottom, you're fine. You're good. You don't got to worry about nothing. I, I recommend this vape to a lot of people. Because, especially if you've been, if you had a PAX and you order this, you're, you're probably going to use this more than you use your PAX. I'm not, I'm not even bullshitting with you. And the reason why I say that is because to me, it lasts longer than a PAX. It tastes better than a PAX. Thank you, Ceramic Chamber. And it lasts forever. I mean, I said that, but I can't stress it enough. It lasts forever. PAX, I've had it. It, it dies fast, believe it or not. It dies fast. And the taste-wise, Pax is good, but this is better. And the reason why I say it's better is because it has a ceramic chamber. Plus, this glass mouthpiece helps it out even more. So you're getting more dollar for your buck. I think they run for $120, bucks, $110. I'm not too sure. You're going to have to go to their website and check that out. But I just want to thank you all for watching the video. Don't forget to hit the like and the sub button because without you liking and subbing, I can't keep bringing you these videos. Peace.